Abby, we're in your design room. This is where you have all the samples and everything you need to talk to customers. And that's what I think is really cool is that when people, they'll go through their local data, buy the trailer or, or get the trailer going, and then you'll be involved. They'll actually get to talk to you who will help design the trailer. Yes. It's Mr. Truck. Uh, this is where the fun happens. Um, if you if you ask the guys, um, this is this is where I like to spend my time, and um, that is something that is unique about Signature Quarters. Is we work direct with the customer. We we have a dealer network, and you purchase the trailer through the dealer. But these are a lot like a custom home. There's a lot of detail that goes into them, and so to make sure we don't lose anything in translation in it every detail is met to the customer's expectation we like to talk right with them and and they are hands-on in our design process well that's great i'm here in the cabinet shop with brady clark he's the shop manager and this is where the magic happens this is where you can get anything you want in trader made i mean this is a whole different world than you know like an rv system or you know trader houses or a lot of the living quarters companies out there this is a custom cabinet shop and you know, besides making them for the signature conversions, they also make those million dollar model homes have their cabinets made here. So it's, uh, it's, it's great, the, the kind of quality that they have here, which is what separates them, is the quality craftsmanship, the quality materials. So tell me about how things are done in here. It's like quite a shop with a lot of sophisticated electronic machinery. Yeah, uh, everything comes in. We use all hardwoods. Um, everything is all 100% handcrafted um, everything comes in in a just the regular hardboard it gets ripped down to dimension lumber uh, it gets run down to, uh, through the planers and sanders and everything um, we will put together all of our face frames and cabinet boxes uh, pre-assemble all of those here but once again everything is made custom for that trailer um, or that house whatever whatever whichever it may be um, Everything gets put together here and then shipped off to finish. And then uh, somebody else will come in here and start producing parts for doors and shelves and everything that goes inside of that cabinet so that when it leaves and goes into the trailer that you have a complete, complete part. Awesome. This is what I think is the most important part is the custom cabinetry side of it. You can make anything you want, you know, and, and Abby does the design work so you can have it done any way you want to do. But, you know, this is, this is where you get that, that high end. This makes your living quarters more like a luxury condo or a, or a, or a model home. It's, it's the part that really, you know, as you look at every day, I mean, everybody sees the outside of these trailers, but to see how it's done on the inside and how, how much you enjoy that and, you know, could be for decades. Kent, we are in the finishing booth uh, at the Signature Quarters plant and moving from the Sandhills package trailer in here you can really get uh, a good look at what we do on the antiquing of the black cabinetry. Um, Brady's going to elaborate a little bit more on, on how many steps it actually takes once that raw material comes out of the cabinet shop and into the finishing booth. Uh, but I'm just going to touch on um, the hand craftsmanship and the, the attention to detail that we really do, um, such as the, the black cabinets in the, in the Sandhills package. After the, the final sand goes on, all of these pieces, they go on and they put a, a black stain on, on the wood, um, and then they come back and they hand rub the antiquing marks onto each door, valance, all the trim pieces, um, and then they start the lacquering process. And so Brady can fill us in a little bit more detail on how that works. Well, when a, when a product comes out of the, the cabinet shop originally, this is a, a general idea as to what it looks like. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill raised panel door that comes from the cabinet shop. Everything is raw wood when it comes out. It goes to our, our staining guys. They will stain it, color it up to whatever the customer wants, whether it be black or brown or light, what, I mean, whatever. Um, there's several steps there as far as uh, different woods sometimes have to have conditioning done on them. Uh, to make this, the stain go on even and so on and so forth. Um, once it's stained, the stain is allowed to dry, it comes in here and then there is at least three to four coats of finish that's put on 
each and every piece that that comes out of the cabinet shop, whether it be a cabinet door, whether it be the cabinet itself, shelves, whatever it is that comes out of the cabinet shop, it has three to four coats of finish put on it, and in between each one of those coats of finish, it has to all be sanded down and smoothed and made nice and flat to where there is no marks and everything is, is nice and clean and even. This is a sample of, of basically the other side, you know, beginning to end. Um, this door actually has a medium finish on it. That's one thing that we do offer is several different uh, glosses of, of finish on stuff. This is what we call our medium rub where it's not as shiny, but there is several different variations where you can go very, very shiny. So All the way to a high gloss. Now this trailer is almost finished. I tried to get here and, and get pictures of ones that are in the process and ones that are finished. And this has just a few things yet to cover up and to close up and uh, do finish the wiring work. Gorgeous trailer though. You can see the, the fin finish of some of the cabinetry work in here. I love the front of this. That's the thing about when you're looking at living quarters is these you may have for a very long time and they're going to be bouncing down the road. I mean the, the roads are terrible out there and they can you know destroy things inside. My last living quarters which was a cheap model from another brand and I had the window valances falling off, I had trim falling off and you got to remember that when you're looking at these living quarters if it's not quality build something that's actually made to stay together you're going to have problems later on and nobody wants to have problems when you're tired at night you just want to get in from the horse event you were at and rest, take a shower and get ready for the next day. I actually had the opportunity to sit down with these customers. Uh, they are out of Texas, uh, bought through our Texas dealer, and we sat down in Waco at the WPRA World Finals um, and designed this trailer. And it was so much fun. Um, they really wanted to to do some different things. Um, in in my line of work, that is so much fun for us. And you will see these uh, custom pillows actually have their brand inlaid in real uh, leather croc. And we also carried the croc through onto the back of their sofa and their valances, and even up and inlaid their raised panel doors in, in the real leather. And it really made a nice accent, brought some warmth into their headboard. Uh, we also came around and, and did a, a nice turquoise and copper backsplash with a hammered copper sink and oil rub bronze faucet. Uh, laminate countertops and there's still some, some details like you mentioned we're still in production that are, are yet to um, be finished. There will be nail heads uh, that will match those same ones that are on the valances. Uh, they also wanted to do some custom woodwork in their ceiling. Uh, so we came up with a design to add the soft touch and the wains coating and there will still be some trim pieces that, that are left to install those final details um, that really set our fit and finish apart. You will see the, the seamless crown work and trim work throughout, um, throughout the, the nose, main cabin, and all the way into the bathroom. We carry out the nice large crown and trim pieces. And we're in a about halfway finished living quarters here at Signature. This is awesome. I love Naughty Pine, but this is a special model. Tell me about this, Abby. This is um, a little bit more economical package than our Signature that you saw in the previous trailer. And it has got the pine tongue and groove on the walls. Um, we can do the pine in a different stain color or what's very popular right now, as you can see, is the natural pine walls. Well, then we come in with a darker cabinet and usually that cabinet is antiqued a bit um, but it gives it a really nice contrast a log home feel is kind of what I like to say uh, it's very very popular like I said in the Midwest well, I'm a big fan of Naughty Pine it still has the the high-end insulation package uh, behind the the pine is just we're, we're removing that soft touch and sheeting and replacing it with that tongue and groove. Well, that's great. So you have a model for everybody. You got the very top end and you got the more economical style. Absolutely. Okay, Brady, I want to talk about the insulation. I know you guys are, you know, in Valentine, Nebraska, you're used to cold weather, and you're famous for that. People actually count on you on having better insulated trailers than what they see in a lot of areas. You guys understand the cold and you understand how it relates. To, to the insulation 
And, you know, but it also works for the whole country because of humidity. When you've got a better insulated trailer, you have less of the problem with the water dripping on you from the trailer. You have less problem with humidity building up. So, and, and it actually helps with your air conditioning. You have better insulation package. Your air conditioning is more efficient, costs less to run. So the way you folks do your insulation package, I think, has a lot of benefit around the whole country. Now, can you tell me more about uh, how, what else that insulation does for you? Uh, we've got three things with our insulation package that we try to uh, brag about a little bit, I guess, if you will. Uh, number one is the moisture control, like you talked about humidity a little bit, uh, with condensation to try and avoid anywhere where hot and cold air can hit a piece of aluminum and make condensation for moisture problems down the road. Um, another big one for us is the R value. Um, a lot of trailers where they're just using a styrofoam insulation have an R value of somewhere, depends on how the insulation is installed, anywhere from about only an R2 to possibly an R6 or 7. Um, whereas with the product that we're using, we're able to get uh, under optimal conditions up to somewhere around an R16 with that product. Um, the other third thing would be uh, noise reduction, where everything is completely uh, sealed and covered. It helps to make things quieter and uh, you know just just feel homier, so that you don't have so much outside noise and distraction from whether it be horses and people coming by or generators running or what have you. This is where it starts from the trailer factory. They come out with a shell. It's called. This is the the part that Signature Quarters deals with and makes it in to your luxury condo, to your to your home on the wheels. This is where the magic begins. It's framed in for air conditioning. It's ready for appliances. The heavy duty stuff is done and now it's for the magic to begin. And this is the first contact your horse trader dealer has is with Darwin Hargrave. He's the one that lines it all up and gets things rolling. Thanks Kent. As you said, this is uh, the raw form of the trailer. This is what we start with. This is a large role that I play in the company. I do start with the dealers or directly with customers through our dealer network in designing their home away from home. One of the biggest challenges we face at this beginning process is we are trying to build a 3,500 square foot home in 100 square feet. Uh, it's very minimal so the, the process starts with finding out what the customer needs, what their, uh, what their goals are as far as how many they're trying to sleep, how much they're on the road, slide outs, things like that. Once we work out uh, what they're looking for, we start going through floor plans. And once we get the floor plan established, um, we get with the manufacturers, give them the specs, and this is what they send to us. After that, uh, th that initial stage, then we get to turn it over to Brady, who is our shop manager, and he comes in and, and he starts building. He's the one in charge of, of the actual manufacturing process the actual putting the components in and the construction phase. All of this is per Miss Abby's design that she's done with the customers. So we take, as you can see, a very raw product and uh, design your home away from home. And here at Signature Quarters, it really is a family affair. This is Abby and Brady's grandfather. He's, they put him to work too. He's out here staining all kinds of things. So you're a master stainer? I don't know what a master stainer is, but I've stained a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, this is awesome. This is, uh, people love the family businesses, and you're certainly part of it. Uh, well, it, uh, I enjoy working with the kids. Well, that's cool. Well, thanks, Bernard. I appreciate that. <laughs>